Okay. All right, so now we're working this through, and we've got our shoot target, and it's time to um, add the last few pieces. So we're going to need a function for game off. Okay, I'm just letting you know ahead of time. And then we're also going to need some other functions. Um, we're going to need a function for uh, cross hair off. Okay. All right, so that's another one that we're going to write. But more importantly, we've called some functions already in our game that we haven't created yet. For instance, we've called this function reset scoreboard, okay? And we still need to write it. Okay? And and then the last one, one of the most important ones is function clock tick, okay? Open and close parentheses, next line, open curly brace close curly brace. So these are the functions that we have to write to finish the game. Um, we've shot the target, but we have some other ones that we need to, to do. For instance, if I scroll back up here, we'll see that um, somewhere in our code here is... Oh, I, there was one other thing that I wanted to make sure that we don't have... Um, okay, now that's good. Um, let's see here, we scroll back up. All right. We have, let's see here, reset scoreboard. There it is, all right, where we've called um, the reset scoreboard function, and we need to write that function. And that function is actually pretty easy, so I'll show it to you right now. On the reset scoreboard function, basically we set the score equal to zero, and then we say time equals time allotment. So our time is ran down, right, um, from 30 seconds or 60 seconds to zero, and now we set it back to whatever the time allotment is whether we want that to be 30 seconds or 60 seconds we're not sure okay and then um, and then the clock tick function I'm trying to remember where we set that up okay let's see here up here time interval we had the gun interval when game goes on we put a code time interval equals set interval clock tick and so the clock tick is going to go every second right so here's the code for clock tick. All right. First of all, we take the time variable and we minus minus it, which will minus one. Right. So each time that happens, every second, time will go down by one. All right. And then we say if open parentheses time equal equals zero. If time equal equals zero, right, and if, we're going to do another if statement right inside, open and close, parentheses, open curly brace, two lines down, close curly brace. If score is greater than or equal to win points, which is what it takes to win, right? So if score is greater than or equal to win points, right, we will go level plus plus, which will increment our level. We'll go up a level. And then the current level will equal the level. Okay? So that's if our score is high enough, we get to advance. If not, I'm going to go on the next line here. So this is a nested conditional statement, an if statement within another if statement. But regardless of this interior if statement, we're going to do something else always, and that is we're going to call game off, 
right? So we do call game off and set time equal to zero. Okay. Um, game off, time equals zero. Time should already equal zero, but in case it's gone to like negative one or something like that, we want to um, make sure to set it back to zero. Essentially, that's what we're doing. And then outside of this if statement, um, outside of this whole if statement, what I did was is I put a new line here, just so you can see, new line here, and outside of the if statement I said scoreboard underscore mc dot timer underscore txt, timer text, dot text equals time. So once again, just making sure that the time is set correctly in our game. Um, so that, uh, and that's pretty much, let's see here, scoreboard, score MC, uh, yep, that looks pretty good. So that's the clock tick function, right? And also the reset scoreboard function. And we come back, we'll write the game off function, which is very important because now we've called game off, and then game off will call crosshair off.